What is it like moving to Mexico City? So you're craving some authentic tacos, corn tortillas, burritos, and enchiladas? How about living abroad with an experience like no other? We know where to go, and it's the country where the Mayan architectural site stands, and that's Mexico. This time, we'll talk more about Mexico City. There should be other reasons that made you decide to go to Mexico. It's possible that it all started from binge-watching telenovelas, and Talia is mostly the protagonist in those telenovelas. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Uh-oh, those heavy dramas, right? Then, while watching those telenovelas, you just appreciate the beauty of Mexico's surroundings and warm climate. And also Mexican celebrities like Salma Hayek, Chantal Andre, Sandra Echeverra, etc. Or perhaps you just love Disney's Coco and Mexican fiestas. Whatever the reason, you'll surely enjoy visiting this colorful place. So, without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Pros of Relocating to Mexico City Let's talk about the advantages of relocating to Mexico City. The good thing about Mexico City is you can live here cheaply. If you can buy a house in the U.S., then you can in Mexico because prices are relatively cheaper there. The price of a shack in California can be the price of a big house in Mexico City. And when we say big house, it's almost like a mansion. That's totally bang for your buck. Not only buying a house is reasonably cheap, even renting your own space is also cheap too. Plus, it doesn't cost a fortune when it comes to purchasing food in the daily public transportation fare. Even healthcare is cheaper here than in the U.S. That's why many expats go to Mexico for their retirement. Rich Culture and History One thing is for sure, you'll never get bored in Mexico when it comes to culture and learning its rich history. You can be entertained by Mexican musicians playing mariachi music while walking down the streets of the city or eating at a nice Mexican restaurant. You can also visit Mexico City's museums to learn more about Mexican history. And Mexico is home to several UNESCO heritage sites. There are 35 World Heritage Sites in Mexico, 27 are cultural sites, 6 are natural sites, and 2 are mixed sites. In your spare time, you can visit Mexico City's popular landmarks. Here's a list of where you can go to. Plaza de las Tres Culturas. In this place, you'll learn about the darkest times of Mexican history. The square gets its name from the three different cultural periods that can be seen here. Aztec, Spanish, and Mexican architecture is showcased in this area. Cuacalco Pyramid. An underrated tourist landmark, Cuacalco Pyramid is the oldest pyramid in Middle Mexico dating to 100 years BC, which is older than the Teotihuacan Pyramids. Museum of Anthropology If there's a museum that you can't miss in Mexico City, it's the Museum of Anthropology. It's one of the biggest museums in the world. Don't miss the pre-Columbian archaeological artifacts, especially the iconic Piedra del Sol. Centro Cultural de España Another museum of art and artifacts, the building itself is a beautiful facade, making it one of the most interesting museums in the city. Leon Trotsky's House Found in the downtown Koyokin district, the house was owned by Leon Trotsky, a political refugee who was responsible for creating the Russian Revolution. The National University of Mexico Known to be included in UNESCO's World Heritage List, the university has beautiful architecture and history. Head straight to the library building and you'll see beautiful murals. Locals call it a university city because they feel it's a city within a city. Chocomilco Perfect for day trips, tourists can visit the floating gardens of this area. Museo Nacional de las Intervencianos Located in the south, this one is another underrated museum of Mexico City. This museum showcases the history of foreign invasions in Mexico. Teotihuacan Pyramids Known also as the Pyramid of the Sun, the structure is also included in UNESCO's heritage sites. It's so big that it can rival the size of the Pyramid of Giza. Vibrant Food Sea Mexico is one of the best when it comes to the world of gastronomy. The Mexican traditional cuisine is so good that it's included in UNESCO's list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. There's more to Mexican food than devouring endless enchiladas and tacos. And every food is special and has a story of origin. You must be familiar with the guacamole dip you use as a sandwich spread or dip for your favorite tortilla chips. Thanks to the Aztecs who originated the recipe. How about the Tex-Mex cuisine's invention, everyone's favorite burrito? Some say the food originated from the vaqueros or the northwestern Mexican cowboys. And of course, Mexico also has its mazapan. Well, don't confuse it with Spain's marzipan. Whatever your cravings are, there are 15,000 restaurants in Mexico City that you can choose from. Now there's a lot of Mexican food that you can enjoy. Diverse Neighborhoods to Choose From 
Mexico is a beautiful and culturally diverse country. Whether you like to live in the city or the outskirts of town, Mexico will never run out of good places you can live in. You must choose the best neighborhood according to your lifestyle. Here's a list of the best neighborhoods that you can choose from. Centro Historico. This is the place to be if you have a penchant for culture and architecture. Roma. So you're a foodie, go to Roma where you can find authentic Mexican cuisine. Condesa. Tired of the hustle and bustle kind of life? Go to Condesa and experience the laid back vibe of the city. This place has also late night taco joints and sidewalk cafes. Alameda Central. If you're craving local flavor, Alameda is the perfect destination. Chocomilco and Cumbres del Ajusco. This is the perfect place for those who are adventure junkies and like outdoor activities. Coyoacan. If you're not a fan of urban scapes, you might like Coyoacan. Known for its quiet charm, the place has managed to retain its village charm and has lots of cobble streets and colorful plazas. Friendly and welcoming locals. Mexico is known for its warm and welcoming people. Well, admit it, it's hard for you to believe it because you've seen a lot of Mexican antagonists in some action movies. But trust that there are still many Mexicans who are friendly and approachable. If you're lucky, these locals can even offer you a ride and tour you to the most beautiful parts of the outskirts of town. Cons of relocating to Mexico City Traffic and transportation challenges now, this is the downside when you live in Mexico City. Play us a song that is as slow as the Mexico City traffic. Expect heavy traffic, especially during the busiest hours. Travel vloggers can testify to this, and these vloggers even told their viewers to opt for public transportation instead. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> air pollution. With traffic comes air pollution. But don't worry, because when you go to the suburbs, surely you won't experience the bad fumes that come from the vehicles. If you want to buy a house, opt for places that are zoned in the safest and pollution-free places. Safety concerns in certain areas Visitors to Mexico are required to practice increased caution due to instances of unwanted violence. Even if you go to other places, this is true that you need to be vigilant at all times. Although there are rare cases like kidnapping, simple safety tips like avoiding wearing flashy jewelry can repel intruders. Language barriers for non-Spanish speakers Some Mexicans in the city can converse in English, so there's no need to worry. However, there are still locals who can't converse in English. Why not break language barriers by learning a few Spanish phrases? That way, you can be closer to the locals. Adapting to a different pace of life If you're a New Yorker who is used to the hustle and bustle way of life, Mexico is different. It's pretty laid back here in Mexico City, and the people here are fun-loving. No wonder Mexico is the best country for expats when it comes to recreation based on a survey. According to internations.org, expats find the leisure options in Mexico outstanding, making Mexico rank second in the world. The survey includes expat votes when it comes to the culinary variety and dining options, 92% happy versus 77% globally, the culture and nightlife, 84% happy versus 67% globally, and the recreational sports, 81% happy versus 75% globally. The downside is just that Mexico can become an unprotected environment at times. Tips for a smooth relocation Aside from choosing the best neighborhood for you, there are other things that you need to consider. Learn basic Spanish phrases to help with communication. If you know how to speak English, then trust that you can easily learn the basics. We're lucky in this era because it's possible to learn a new language at your fingertips. There are language apps like Duolingo, Busu, Memrise, and Lingodeer. Duolingo is free, so there's nothing to worry about when it comes to in-app purchases. After learning a basic Spanish course, you can impress your friends and future neighbors in Mexico. Connect with expat communities and local resources. As cliche as it is, no man is an island. Build connections as often as you can. You can start making connections with fellow expats. Who knows, you can get some handy tips about living in Mexico. Be prepared for the altitude and potential effects on your health. It will be good if we keep ourselves ready all the time, like being aware of Mexico's altitude. Altitude sickness is nothing new. Whatever age, sex, or level of physical fitness you have, anyone can experience some symptoms. In Mexico, altitude sickness usually occurs above 1,500 meters. As you go up, the effects become more severe. You know you've reached the limit when you made it above 2,240 meters, although lots of people visit with no symptoms of altitude sickness at all. Oxygen decreases. Air pressure becomes lower, even though the oxygen percentage in the air is the same. Dehydration can occur as more water vapor will be lost from breathing. Common symptoms. 
shortness of breath, dizziness, headache, fatigue, loss of appetite. Symptoms can be slightly worse at night. Medications, ibuprofen or paracetamol. Motion sickness medication, e.g. promethazine for nausea. If symptoms occur, do the following. Stop and rest frequently. Treat headaches with ibuprofen or paracetamol. Treat nausea with sea sickness or car sickness medications like promethazine. Drink extra water. Avoid alcohol and smoking. Avoid strenuous activities. But don't worry, this altitude sickness doesn't always happen. Always remember that altitude sickness is just a rare condition. Embrace the local culture and customs. Once you live in Mexico, you'll appreciate the beauty of its culture. Just enjoy your stay and dance with the locals when you see them dancing the cha-cha-cha. There are lots of fiestas that will happen in Mexico, and there's more to love about Mexico. Final takeaways. There you have it. Now you know what to expect when you move to Mexico. Hope you find this video helpful. What are the things that you look forward to on your next Mexico trip? Let us know in the comments.